Fences along shelter belts and areas that require infrequent access can be a real pain in the neck. You don't want to put gates in, they need to be stock proof, they need to stay up, but you also need to get them out of the way. Andrew Stewart here is using a unique drop down fence on his family property at Yan Yan Gert West. How are you Andrew? Good Tim, good to see you. Mate, show us all about this drop down fence. <laughs> Tim, I noticed this um, drop down fence idea at a field day and of course I thought we should employ that with our agroforestry system because when we want to harvest this tree we need to be able to drop the fence down and get the tree out. So we've got this little pin here in this fence. I'm just going to and the pin's just made out of undo it, wire. just fencing wire just and just pull that out. There it is. And then you do that with a number of other posts and you can drop the whole fence down, you see. By the time I take that next post and one up down here, you can just flatten this and put a weight on it. I can now pull out these two pins, this, this one here, and then pull this wire out and that one, and then push the whole wire down with the cyclone. Do repeat the process on four of these posts and the whole fence will lie down like so and then we can harvest the tree effectively. Mate, that's absolutely brilliant. This would do really well in areas that are prone to the occasional flood too. If you came out before the flood and just pulled the pins, your fences wouldn't wash away. Yeah, I think it'd probably be helpful, wouldn't it? Lots and lots of applications for this really simple idea. Yeah. Take us through how you've arranged the staples and how the pin works, mate. So here, Tim, what we do is that we put the staples in at right angles to their normal uh, position, that is, on, on the side like that and then you put the cyclone there and then so you put the top wire between two staples at the top that's right the rest of the wires are just held in with one staple with one staple that's right and so here's the pin it's just a bit of normal fence high tensile fencing wire probably so a couple of cents probably costs about 0 0.01 of a cent and then thread that down through there down the bottom here do you have to tie it off at the bottom or anything? Uh, well, just, just put a kink in, in it. So here we can just twist that around like so to hold it in position. So it's not a proper knot at the top. It's no, just it's a just, just a little twist. And down here, I'm just going to, I just do a little bit of an angle here just to stop that reefing out. And, and there, there you've got it, like that. And so that, that's pretty secure. That's not going to come out. And you've got your fence back to normal. So it's a simple idea, but um, it could be used for other purposes as well. Obviously you'd have to be very cautious driving machinery over the fence because there is still a chance that it could flick up into machinery but if it's yeah. only occasional use yeah. it gets away from having to use even a cocky's gate doesn't yeah, it? Yeah that's right yeah and that's also sometimes you know you get stock you reckon you've got a stock proof fence, stock -proof fence and but then it's all not. of a sudden it's not and then you've got no gate yeah well here you don't have the cost of a gate you only have four the, posts yeah four clips yeah Drop Bang, it down. Drop it down. Then push then the stock back in. Get your stock out. So you don't have to put Fantastic. in a gate. So you can save a gate. So you better get this on your channel. And, and uh, like these these ideas uh, are worth sort of describing, I think. People people can use them. But I, reckon, I mean, I reckon we should. We should probably do a video about this. Well, I mean, I, I didn't develop it. I don't know who developed it. But yeah. it was a, a friend's um, a place where there was a field day and I just saw it there. I didn't ever find out who developed it. So you might be able to find out, Tim. Well, if you know who <laughs> developed this idea or yeah. if you're the person that developed this idea and you reckon we've just stolen it, let us know and yeah, I'll that's put your right. name in the comments. In yeah. the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you're gonna miss out on stuff like this. You <laughs> can't afford to do that. Hit the subscribe button now. Catch you next week for more. Andrew, thank you very much, mate. Good, Tim. Good, Good on, on you. <laughs>